Hello everybody and welcome back to the Rock and Reaction Rollers where we react to music that we grew up with from the 60s to the 90s and my name is Tammy. We're working on bands that begin with the letter Y and Z still and we're on the second song for the night and uh, we're just going to jump right into it because it's getting a little late and um, I've kind of gotten pushed back in a few places tonight so I'm going to push on through. But anyway, the one we're going to do now is for YouTuber Rickenbacker or Rickenbacher. I don't know. Every time I see um, this YouTube name, I always think of the Rickenbacker guitar, uh, the Rickenbacker Corporation that was known for, I believe, um, the first electric guitar, I think. But anyway, and I think there's it's called Rickenbacker or Rickenbacher, I think. But anyway, not sure how you pronounce the YouTuber name, but I'm sure you'll correct me in the comments and let me know. But just do that. That's okay. Then I'll know how to say it from now on. But anyway, he wants to hear the song, um, or he wants to go back to 1985, and he wants to hear the zebra tune called Who's Behind the Door. Now, I've heard this song many times, but I hadn't really ever really listened to it um, until just a little bit ago either. And um, this is another cool song. And one that's kind of um, similar to the one we just heard a while ago. So anyway, we're going to get right to the song. And again, this is for YouTuber Rickenbacker. We're doing the 1985 Zebra tune called Who's Behind the Door. We sailed away So hard, but couldn't seem to find is what the world was for. Now we know just what the journey's for. stop this song for just a second <laughs> now this is another song that kind of um gives me the creeps a little bit even though i really like the melody in it and when he hits those high notes in the song that's what i remember about that song it kind of just that's what makes it great um when he hits those really high notes i don't know what he's saying when he's doing it but um it's good but i really like the the song i think where it's I don't know if they're in heaven, if they're people that have passed away, if they're, you know, just if this is about, you know, what happens to us after we leave this life. And I mean, that's kind of what I'm getting from it. I might be way off. Um, I do know that we don't have a whole lot of information about the song. Um, we had a really hard time finding stuff. Um, but anyway, um, we're just going to get right back to it. It's it's a, a relaxing song and it's just got a cool melody to it and I really like it. It's not the first time I've heard it. I've heard it over the years, but just not a whole lot, I guess. So anyway, we're going to get back to it. 1985, 1985 Zebra 
tune called Who's Behind the Door. song being that good but that was awesome <laughs> um i really really liked it and I, it was really just another one of them songs that kind of i don't know makes you stop and think about where are we going from here um i don't know it just yeah, but it was it's a cool song on top of it but i don't know it just it just kind of shook me a little bit i guess because by we had two songs in a row like that make you have to stop and think a little bit and it's too late in the day for me to be doing too much of that <laughs> but i i really did like it and um I, we don't have a whole lot written down here about the song um like i said earlier it just basically says um that this is about a near-death experience hmm. okay so it kind of looks like to me that they're already gone but maybe they're somewhere and they're staying in there. I know. I don't think this song would have been as good without the video, and that's something else. We may not be able to get it on, but it was the only video I could pick because the rest of them, someone else, they were somebody else's videos. So this is the only one I had a choice to pick um, from. So, um, and it's a 1985 song, so I don't know if we're going to get it out here or not, but it is a beautiful song, and I sure hope that I can get it out there. But the only other thing that it really says about the song here is it says the singer Randy Jackson, which is the front man, received serious notice in the press with this song, and it helped to form legions of Zebras fans almost instantly. Yeah, and I think I kind of remember that. I remember when this song came out, and it was just one of them that just kind of hit you, but it just never got enough airplay around to kind of remember it, I think. And so um, I remember it now, but just nothing I could say oh it's going to be on the radio again tomorrow um it just wasn't played around here very often so anyway thanks for that um request rickenbacker or rickenbacker um i loved it and like i said i hope i can get it out here and we're going to try our best and it's really the only choice i have though but if you like the channel be sure to subscribe because it's easy and it's free and 
and what else you got to do on you know nighttime right before it's time to go to bed you get a little rock and roll going on it kind of gets the cardio going a little and or you just want to go to sleep one or the other <laughs> and either thing's fine so anyway i'm gonna go i prefer to go to sleep though as soon as i get done here but i'm gonna try to put one more song out and um so just be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't be sure to hit like underneath the video if you like it share it next to it share it and just everybody join our little rock and roll family so we're going to go for now so be sure to tell those people that you love that you love them each and every day and peace out